have you ever just thought about a choice to make and you thought it was a great idea and you literally spent hours and even days validating yourself, but then when you make the decision and follow through, you instantly regret everything you thought up up to that point? Yeah, me too. Which brings us to today's video. Fusions. I love to experiment with different fusions with favorite characters of mine. I have a few that are in a few AUs I have created that I'll make separate videos for in due time. But today's video is a result of a very spontaneous choice I regretfully made one day. A Sans and a Cuphead of fusion. I know what you're thinking. Sheepy, what have you done? I can answer that with ushered in a new era. K kidding, it, it's been around for a long time. Sans and Cuphead are some of my favorite characters, and the games are amongst my all-time faves. With their announcements to Smash and the uproar that has brought, I thought it would be fun to experiment what a fusion between the two would look like. <laughs> oh boy. But first, let's briefly talk about how I got to know each character. Or the game. Or both. So firstly, when Undertale first came out, I thought it was something very weird and out of the ordinary. But Tumblr was eating it up like you can eat an all-you-can-eat buffet at Golden Corral. A friend at the time bought the game before me and was like, Oh my god, I'm dating a skeleton! So my interest peaked more because it sounded like an absolute mess. So I caved in and ended up buying it. And boy, I'm so happy that I did. The visuals, fights, character interactions, amongst everything else, was absolutely stunning. Not to mention the music is an absolute banger. I found myself really taking comfort in this game. But alas, there are some imperfections, the main one being the fandom. So I didn't really see myself as a sole part of it. Luckily, I didn't <laughs> draw good at the time, so I didn't really contribute to it. But when I tell you that they're like a pack of hyenas, I ain't exaggerating. So as quickly as I hopped into that pool, I immediately jumped out. I still enjoy the content and even follow some AUs from it, but I wouldn't say I include myself in the fandom. Please, please don't attack me. Speaking of fandoms, let's talk about how I discovered Cuphead. So I actually came across Cuphead from an AU. <laughs> yes, that one. I didn't know who he was, but I started to see the design around a lot on Tumblr. So I decided to look up who he actually was, and that's when I came across the game. And I was immediately floored. It was still in development, and I was on the edge of my seat for the countdown to it coming out. I began to draw a lot of Cuphead art, and I, I still do to this day, <laughs> daily. And I was absolutely mesmerized by the game. Cuphead had wonderful character designs, backgrounds, stellar music, and a very simplistic yet charming style and story all the same. I grew attached to the characters and thus began to form my own personal headcanons, which turned to AUs, which turned to vlogs. But anyway, I have met some really great friends and still have them to this day because of it, and I absolutely have no regrets. In terms of the fandom, uh, in terms of fandoms in general, I think I have a toe in the cup fandom, but not as much as I used to. I like to make crossovers. If you know me, I'm I'm really crossover garbage. And I consider myself to be in a separate category because of this. But yeah, that's a brief snippet of the experiences I've had with the two games. I didn't really say much about Sans, I guess. Sans, Sans. He's Sans. What, what, what can we do? He's Sans. Everyone knows Sans. Now, onto the design. When I thought of the overall composition of the character, I thought the base would look more cohesive if the fusion had more of a Sans base than a Cuphead one. I don't know, it kind of looked weird if Sans was a cup. But anyway, I love toony noses, as many people have seen with my style, so I decided to keep Cuphead's little red booper snooper on his face. I also wanted to make the character look like someone who would be kicking it with Mickey on the weekdays and drinking with Oswald on the weekends. I think I got that good. So I got the anatomy to rely more on Cuphead's body base. Another thing I wanted to make sure was to capture both personalities of each character, 
Cuphead seems to be more of a reckless and spontaneous individual, while Sans is mellow, chill, and huh, very lazy. Quite relatable. So this character's pretty laid back, but can also be daring and take some risks. A friend of mine also said his voice claim would definitely be parasitical, and that's officially canon now. Yeah. I also tried to make a cool fusion name, but just came up with Sups. It's, it's really basic, but you know, it has a charm to it. I gave him a hat to give him more of a cool guy 80s, 90s look and incorporate their eyes into one. Having the white pupils from Sans, but the more toony approach to it. I thought it would be fitting if Sups had that smile, because both Cup and Sans both smile like that, showing all their teeth. The jacket leans more to Sans, while the shirt is more towards Cuphead along with the shorts. Sans wears house slippers in the game, while Cup wears those classic tomb boots. I don't know what they're called. I just call them tomb boots. So I thought that it would be cool if he had some like little slip-ons, you know, kind of lazy, but you know, business casual. And it's kind of like a chaotic personality trait. I don't know, I kind of wear those shoes because... <sighs> yeah, it says, it says a lot about me. But yeah, that's me. If you would like to see more fusions, let me know in the comments! I already have a Bendy and Cuphead one that I made for an AU, so that will be in a separate video, and I have been experimenting with the Spinel and Bendy one, but I'm open to more ideas and suggestions! As always, thank you for sticking around for this video, and if you would like to see more of this content, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel! For now though, take a break, please cherish yourself, Please drink some water if you haven't, and please get some rest if you haven't. I'll see you soon.